Hey! Ah! Bless me. COVID. That's not funny at all. So this originally was going to become a toolbox talk, but I feel like it's a very good subject that we should just cover on for a, with a full-blown video. Hey, if you need a reason to work safely today, uh, allow me to point out some very obvious reasons why you should. It doesn't matter if you love the company that you're working for or if you hate the company that you're working for. Fact of the matter is, you've been employed to perform a job and receive a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly salary for doing that job. However, the payment structure is designed. It pays your bills, it puts food on the table, and helps to take care of your family. Working safely allows that business to continue, thus continues to allow you the ability to take care of yourself and your family. Now, I'm not going to sit here and claim to be a company man, but at the end of the day, there are a lot of people who are unemployed and struggling to find a job. You, however, have a job and working safely is a direct result of you having that job. If nobody tried to work safely, it would just be a matter of time before the job would have to shut its doors and you would no longer have to provide you would no longer have a job to provide the basic necessities to yourself or your family and, and who knows how long it would take you to find another job that would allow you to do that again if you decide to take a shortcut or if you decide to just blatantly do something that you know you probably shouldn't be doing you're not only putting yourself in harm's way, but you're putting those that are working with you in harm's way as well. Just as you have family and friends who depend on you to come home each evening or morning if you're working the night shift, so do they. They want them to be safe so that they can come home to them after their shift is through. If you decide to be unsafe, you may inadvertently cause them to become injured as well, or even worse, lose their life. You don't want to have to look in the faces of your family after you did something unsafe and try to explain it to them as to why you decided to take a shortcut that cost you your job. You sure as hell don't want to look in the face of your coworkers, family members to explain that same thing to them also, which would have either uh, cost that person their job, their livelihood, or their life. While productive employees are still very much rewarded at many companies, working safely is often recognized along with production. Your reputation at work is not only affects you in your current position, but it also affects whether or not you earn uh, any kind of future promotions at your company or land opportunities uh, at other companies. No one wants to reward someone that takes a lot of risks or has a high number of instances in which they were involved in and put them in a position of power. Not not a lot of the time anyway, because it does it does happen, but not very often, especially if this is one of those safety con conscious work environments where the company is on board and fully engaged with safety. If it is known that you are a worker who cuts corners or does not work safely, it can make all the difference in whether or not you get the chance at a better opportunity. Now, we did talk about this a little bit a few moments ago, but your family depends on you on you to come home. Your family may depend on you to provide for them with that job that you're working in all the time. Your son or your daughter relies on you to come home and teach them things that moms and dads are supposed to teach them. Your husband or your wife is relying on you to come home to support and to love them and to be there for them. When you're injured or ill or, or worst case, if you're killed, who's going to be there to do all of that? Not only will they now have to deal with you not being there anymore, but now they have to figure out how they're going to, to survive. When you're injured or, or you are ill, you lose the ability to provide for them very quickly. And with the way that the economy is nowadays, it doesn't take very much to fall behind on your bills. Some people think workers' compensation will pay you your full salary if you get injured on the job. Let me go ahead and quash that rumor right now because that does not happen. They only pay you for 60% ish of your take home but that doesn't even consider any overtime that you normally put in that's let's go back to 60 percent ish of your base 40 hour work week so even being injured or ill and on workers compensation you can get behind on your bills pretty quickly and struggle to put food on the table and, and whatever else uh, monthly daily responsibilities you have to fulfill a lot of people think that your family uh, should be number one. And there's an argument for that, sure. But this one is 
this one would affect your ability to take care of your family, which is your health. But your own health and well-being should be the biggest motivator as to why you should want to work safely or why you should choose to work safely. Once we lose our health or, or it gets impacted severely, it, it may never be the same way again. It is important to really think about how a severe injury could change the rest of your life. If you were in a major incident and you lose a finger or, or you lose a hand, now you may never be able to hold your husband or wife's hand again. If you don't take care of your hearing, it may get to a point where you never get to hear your children laugh. We don't normally think about how much a severe incident can really affect us, but I can promise you one thing. You may not think about it much now, but let something happen which would prevent you from doing one of the things I just mentioned and you will never never be able to stop thinking about how easily it would have been to wear your gloves or your earplugs or whatever the situation is uh, behind whatever incident caused you to become severely injured. So just think about it and, and be safe, please. I mean, if you're not going to work safely for yourself, at least work safely for your loved ones. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, take care of each other. Mm -hmm.